بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله ومن تبع بأحسان إلى يوم الدين In the name of Allah the most gracious the most merciful all praises for Allah the Lord of everything and may Allah the Almighty send peace and blessings upon Prophet Muhammad and whoever follow Prophet Muhammad in good deeds until the day of resurrection. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Now this is our second sitting regarding our topic, patience. In the last sitting we spoke about the relevance of being patient, the meaning of patience and so forth. Now we're going to continue with the different segments of patience. Allah helps a sabirin, the patient one. A believer with strong faith is ready to surrender whatever it takes to be in the way of the Almighty God. So he gives up things that he loves for the sake of Allah. So if in the past he used to listen to music and Islamic uh, Islamic information, Islamic uh, legislation has been uh, shown to him, he takes the time to give up what he loves for the sake of Allah. So the Prophet ﷺ has prohibited us from watching, listening to music and the musical instrument. So it's upon us when we find out this information to cease from doing this action and to follow what the Prophet ﷺ has said. This is one way of being patient. He encounters all hardship and afflictions with courage and remains steadfast in adverse circumstances. Why is this? He knows that Allah will grant him bounties, grant him a lot of rewards, grant him Jannah. So he is patient in this situation, steadfast for the sake of Allah, the most gracious. If he is fought by the enemies of Allah for the sake of Allah, he stands fast for the sake of Allah. Then Allah lends his help to him because he is always beside those who observe patience, as sabirin and Allah the Most High has said in his book, if you remain firm and act aright, even if the enemy should rush here on you in hot hasty, your Lord will help you with 5,000 angels, making a terrific onslaught. This is in chapter Al-Imran. It is to be noted that the opposite of patience is impulsiveness in which one has no control over his rage and anger and he reacts hastily and harshly to any situation now i'm asking you is this or will this person be successful in this life and in the hereafter a person with this quality of not being patient harsh, anger, full of rage, quick to do things without thinking. Will he be successful? To exercise his power over others. And in addition, he thinks of himself to be of a high esteem. He's arrogant, he's proud. For such a man, Abu Huraira, radiallahu anhu, May Allah be pleased with him, pleased with him, said that the Prophet ﷺ said, The strong man is not the one who is good at wrestling, but the strong man is the one who controls himself in a fit of 
rage. This is in the book of Bukhari. Lack of patience in our life. It has been observed that due to the lack of patience, human relationships suffer a lot. Not having a level of acceptability and understanding, not giving ears to other views and perspectives. Human relationships simply end up in frustration and remorse. And I'll give you an example. What's your relationship with your wife or with your husband or vice versa? What's the relationship? When your wife makes a mistake, are you understanding to say, oh, she's a human and she is likely to make mistakes just like I'm likely to make these mistakes too? Are you forgetful of the mistakes that you have made in the past? Are you forgiveful of the things that she has done to you? All these sequences shows how patience can prevail and make every situation in our life better. We have to be open with each other. We have to be realistic. We have to be conscious that everything we do, everything we say, is recording in the sight of Allah, the Most High. We have to keep that in mind all times. We're just here for a short period of time on this earth. We lack patience in almost everything, whether it be behavior between, towards the system and the society we live in, or it relating to manners between you and your friends on a daily basis. Need of patience. It would not be wrong to say that patience is the need of time. We need to have patience in our lives and need to make it our way. In our speech, behavior, manners, and dealing wherever it is in, permitive. Islam lays greater stress on the important value of one's life regarding patience. When we are patient, we become understandable to situations that we encounter. We're able to rationalize what to do and what not to do. In opposed to a situation where someone is lacking this virtue. Now, if you ask yourself today and ask yourself of actions that have occurred in your life, have you been patient? If you have, how patient have you been? After that, what are your daily and your future plans of increasing this quality or this virtue of patience? Keep this in mind. And let's try to work each day to please our Lord, Allah, the most gracious. Now let's look at situations of the Prophet وسلم, of this virtue of patience. Patience has a very important meaning in Islam. A person with the most patience is the one who is the most successful and who will have the most bounty in the hereafter. Allah, the most gracious, helps those who are patient in all the tough times and asks for his guidance and mercy. In Islam, patience is a great virtue and there is none other than the biggest example of Prophet Muhammad Prophet Muhammad was the epitome of the patience, the virtue of patience. He was known for his honesty, forgetful and forgiveness and truthfulness. Truly, he was one of the best men who walked on the earth, a true role model and an inspirational character for the whole of mankind. During the years of his prophethood, 
while preaching Islam in different areas, we can see numerous occasions of his patience. Patience in difficulty, patience in conveying the message of Allah, the most gracious. Patience in dealing with people in their normal daily lifestyles. Throughout his mission, he was patient and forgave whoever insulted and attacked him. Despite all these insults, abuse, and attacks, Prophet Muhammad kept patient and all around the journey and kept on preaching the teachings of the Quran and the Sunnah for the sake of Allah in all aspects of the culture that was around him. In the Quran, it has been mentioned that many people had no idea about what good manners are. In circumstances like these, Allah provided all the qualities in Prophet Muhammad so that he can be a role model for the entire mankind and they can learn from him. Whenever a tough situation came in front of Prophet Muhammad he would remain patient and turn to Allah the most gracious for help and guidance. Now, are we doing this? When we are afflicted with a situation, are we raising our hands to Allah, the most gracious, and asking Him for His assistance, His guidance, His help? Try to do this from now. Try to be practical about Islamic principles. It's not just something you read and say, okay, I know this. We should be implementing Islamic jurisdiction on a daily aspect of our lives. In the Quran, various events have been described from the Prophet ﷺ life in which Allah the Most Gracious has told us to be patient and in which Allah has told him to be patient and face the situation after all it's only he who would help him through the tough times. If there is some problem in the biz in the business work dealing, if there is something, if there is some problem in the family, a believer should only observe patience and seek help from the Almighty God Allah only. Many people who were around Prophet Muhammad وسلم, adapted his example of patience and become, became very successful in their life. Now, there's an important point I need to elaborate on. Now, when something afflicts a problem or a situation afflicts someone, he should turn directly to Allah. When you do this, it shows that you are treating Tawheed, the oneness of Allah, of the highest respect. And the companions, may peace and blessing be upon the companions. You can see these in their lives. Anything that happened, they turn straight to Allah. Right. Oh Allah, please make our situations easy. Oh Allah, grant me this. This is a way of respecting and adoring the Tawhi that was revealed to them through Prophet Muhammad. And knowing that Allah is the Lord of everything and He decrees what happens to His servants at each time of their lives. So keep this in mind. Respect Tawheed. Implement it in your life. Adore it. Preach it. Encourage people to practice Tawheed in all aspects. Knowing that Allah Azawajal, is the one that is looking at you. And that He is the one that we will all return to on the Day of Judgment. Here are some of the events from the Prophet Sallallahu life which show how patient he was in all the extreme situation. The first of which is the visit to Ta'if. Ta'if was a small town away from Mecca. After receiving the call for prophethood by the angel Jibreel 
he went to Ta'if for preaching Islam to the people living there. When he was, when he went to the town, he came across many people and started teaching them about Islam. And that he would worship and that they would and they should worship Allah alone. The people of Ta'if laughed at him and hurled stones at him. Prophet Muhammad was badly injured that he had to take the help from a, from a stick to walk back to Mecca. His shoes were also filled with blood. During this extreme condition, he didn't turn back and abuse those people who nearly took his life. In fact, he remained patient and asked Allah for their forgiveness and to guide them to the right path, which was a tawheed, worshiping, uh, worshiping Allah in oneness and in truth. Now, we're going to stop today at this point and we're going to continue next week in other situations of the patience of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Thank you for listening. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Mm -hmm.